Hey guys, what's up? It's the Dead Cactus here, and today I am doing a tutorial on how to emulate the video game Skylanders. So as you'll notice, I have all the files pre-downloaded just to save time. The first file you're going to need to download is 7-zip. Now, I have a 64-bit Windows, so that is what I downloaded. So let's go ahead and start this installing, as you can see right here. Destination folder, that's fine with me. Go ahead and install it, and it's done, just like that. Go ahead and delete 7-zip. Next thing you're going to want to need, this is for if you are uh, emulating Skylanders as a Wii game. If you do not have a portal, or if you do not want to use your portal, use the PS3 version. If you do want to use a portal, use the Wii version. Simple as that. Uh, this is Editor Matthew coming in from the future and saying, Hey, I forgot to mention, you need a Wii Remote to do this. Probably should have been... Um, important to mention in the first place you also need a Wii sensor bar if you don't have one of those you can go on eBay buy this thing called a dolphin bar so if you're gonna use the Wii version then you want to download Zadig I believe is how you say it right there is the download I've already got that so we can go ahead and install that alright so the first thing you want to do when running Zadig is you want to plug in your portal of power now keep in mind that only the Wii and PlayStation versions of the Portal of Power will work for this. Now once you've got Zadig all up and running, go to Options, make sure List All Devices is checked, go over here and click Spyro Porta. Now the one you're going to want to use for your portal, if you can find it, is LibUSB-K. Then once you've got that, just go ahead and hit Replace Driver. You are about to modify a system driver. Yep, that's what we want to do. You can see it's installing. As you can see, the driver was successfully installed, so you can go ahead and close that out. Go ahead and close out Zadig, but leave it there, do not delete it. Now the next thing you want to do is download the Dolphin emulator, where as you can see right here, I've got a link to the description for all of these, by the way, I forgot to mention that. Go ahead and get the Windows 64, or whatever it is that you use. Go ahead, right click on it. Now if you have Windows 10, it's going to straight bring you to this. If you have Windows 11, it'll pop up with this first, and you'll have to hit Show More Options. Then you can hover over 7-Zip, go Extract 2 and the name. Go ahead and open that up, Dolphin64. Go ahead and run it. You can see that there are no games, so what you're going to want to do is get yourself a game. Now, two ways to go about this. You can legally back up a copy of your Skylanders game. Hey, so this is me stepping in from the future again and saying, hey, I'm not allowed to show you how to get games for free. That is against YouTube's TOS. My video got taken down, so I've got to re-upload it like this. Luckily, I still had the files, thank goodness, so I don't have to redo the whole video over again. But anyway, uh, yeah, you'll have to find the way to get the games yourself. I can't show you. Anyway, that's all I had to say. Skylanders Giants, open it up can see there you go there's your file set the directory I'm just gonna stick it straight on the desktop select folder there you go Skylanders Giants you can see it has no banner because I have not played it before now once you have your Wii remote you got batteries in it you got your nunchuck plugged up into your Wii remote you're gonna go over to your controllers pass through a Bluetooth adapter is the wrong one you want to check emulate the Wii's Bluetooth adapter emulated Wii Remote, change it to w real Wii Remote. Then you're going to want to hit down here where it says continuous scanning. Then you're going to want to press the red button on the back of your Wii Remote. And there you go. You can't see it, but my Wii Remote is now connected to my PC. Just like that. It is literally that simple. You can hit close. One thing I did forget to mention is you're going to need to pass through your portal to the software. So go to config, go to Wii, whitelisted USB pass through devices, hit add, Skylanders portal. See it right there? You can double click it. Shazam. Now let's launch up Skylanders Giants. All right, now you see we're here. Please put a Skylander on the portal of power. I'm going to take my bash off of my shelf and put him on. And you can see it may lag a little bit, but that's just part of it. And there you go. You can see. It works. I can take him off. I can put on Prism Break.
And there you go. So that is how you emulate Skylanders for the Wii. Now, say that you wanted to emulate Skylanders as a PS3 game, which, you know, as I have said, I think is the better one. So what you're first going to do is you're going to need to go over to RPCS3. You're going to want to download their latest release. You can scroll down here, Windows, hit the download, bam. I already got it. It's right there. You're going to want to right click on it, show more options, 7-zip, extract to. Once that finishes, I'm just going to bring it right there. Next thing you're going to want to do, go over to this link right here, PlayStation 3 System Software Update. You're going to want to scroll down here, right click on Download PS3 Update, Save Link As, and you can see right there, PS3 Update and then it'll be .pub. You can see it right there. Go ahead and download that. Then once you've got that out of the way, then you've got your ps 3 updatepup and you got your RPCS3. Now you're gonna wanna go into the folder that you made, RPCS3. Uh, you can read the quick start guide if you want. I have, I think, so it'll be okay. You can not show it again. Continue. You're gonna want to go to install firmware. You're going to want to find your ps 3 updatepup And there you go. That installs your firmware. Just like that. You're going to want to let this do its thing. While this is working, you can go over to your Skylanders Giants, the one that is for the PS3 version. Go ahead and extract it to Skylanders Giants. Now is a good time to mention, if you want to emulate a PS3 controller with a keyboard, by all means, be my guest. I cannot re recommend it in the slightest. Okay, now, just because I didn't want to go through the hassle of getting my PS3 controller hooked up to my computer, I'm just going to use my Xbox 360 controller. So as you can see, that's working. I need to increase my dead zone a little bit, but you can see down there on the bottom right, my joysticks are moving. Okie dokie, now that that's done extracting, I'm just going to bring the folder over to here. Then we can go ahead, open, and it is which one? It's that one. Select that folder. There you go. Opening the game. Simple as that. As you can see, this already looks so, so much better. It's so much smoother. You can't see the pixels. Uh, this is why I prefer the PS3 version. Anyway, go ahead and go into story mode. Hit new. There we go. Please put a Skylander. Now, like I said, this one does not require a portal of power, so you may be thinking, okay, what do I do? You go over to manage, you go over to Skylander's portal, create. Let's create Series 2 Whirlwind. ID, don't think it matters, hit create. We're just gonna stick him on the straight desktop. And there you go. And there you go. Now you got Whirlwind. Whoa. Okay, so graphical glitches may happen like that sometimes, but like, this looks so beautiful compared to the Wii version. Like, you, you, you can't even compare the two. Plus, this one doesn't require a portal. You don't even have to use a, a PS3 controller. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. So, yeah, out of the two, I definitely prefer the PS3 version. Plus, it's just, like, less setup. You don't have to go through installing that driver. Way simpler. Uh, the game's way bigger, but, you know, that's okay. And, like, if you keep a folder with, like, all of these in it, it will stay... Like, it'll keep your stats. Like, if you upgrade that Skylander, it'll, it'll stay upgraded as long as you don't delete it. And then next time, instead... You just go load instead of create and you can go ahead and clear so yeah that's that uh i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial it is going to take me a ton of editing because i don't know how to do tutorials very well and i slipped up on my words a bunch so anyway yeah anyway like i said i hope you've enjoyed this uh hopefully this helped you out 
And yeah, as for now, this is the Dead Cactus signing out. So I'll see all you guys later. Bye.